Yes, we did uh, JW Dodato Electric. Um, it's a, an electrical company. Um, I'm Phil. I'm Katie. Danielle. I'm Courtney. I'm Carol. <laughs> uh, a little bit of background about them. They were founded in 1958 by John W. Dodato. Um, they're headquartered in Akron, Ohio, so they're local. Um, basically, they specialize in all types of light electrical services, um, commercial, residential, um, and also like emergency. Uh, the executive summary, uh, they utilize a lot of different types of technology and IT systems and just like their overall daily operations, um, such as like they use um, different types of computers and like notebooks as well as like smartphones to kind of basically like link all their information together. Um, and they're a very successful company overall, but we found that they can be improved upon in areas such as like their CRM and um, possibly by exploring like social networks as a type of like media um, source to kind of like market themselves more. Uh, a little bit about the IT, IS, and MIS structure. Um, it's completely outsourced uh, through Textbird Data Services, or TDS for short. Um, and an analysis conducted found that the cost of maintaining yearly overhead um, and employing uh, the amount of people required to meet the company's information needs was more than the cost required for contracting TDS, which basically meant that um, the way that they're doing things now is much cheaper um, than just uh, contracting um, like the TDS. Um, the way it aligns with the business unit, uh, basically um, when an employee is in need of implementing like new uh, technology or anything of that nature, um, it goes through a process um, where first of all they meet with the supervisors and discuss like the needs for um, like the new technology or business process. Um, then a manager has to validate the needs and next it goes to um, the TDS representative to discuss everything more in depth. Um, and um, then the next step would be uh, they measure everything and weigh the costs of it. And finally, it goes to uh, the president who has to basically approve everything. Uh, as far as the technology, the company is equipped with about, it's closer to 60, it says 45 to 60, but closer to 60 um, HP and Dell PCs and notebooks. Uh, and like Phil mentioned earlier, they have Blackberry and Android smartphones that synchronize with their Exchange server. And most desktop processors are Core 2 and serve to utilize uh, a single quad Intel Zen processor. Uh, the slide's a little confusing, but basically all it's saying is that Didato has an extended star topology and they use a Time Warner cable as their modem. Um, all of the data software is packaged, and this is just a list of some of the software they use and which department it's used for. Like, they have the, obviously, the Microsoft 2007 and 2010. Um, the, they have an antivirus software, and then they have foundations that they use for accounting, on-screen takeoff, which they use in their construction and estimating department, um, electrical bid manager that the contract did bids are used for, and then the probation software, which is for billing and coding. Some of their operating systems include Windows Server 2008 SBS, which SBS is, just stands for a small business server, uh, SQL Server 2008, Microsoft, uh, Blackberry, and then Windows XP and Windows 7 Pro are used for operating systems on their desktops and notebooks. As I mentioned, the data has a Microsoft SharePoint server, which includes the SBS features. And even though they don't have an extranet, uh, they share with another company. SharePoint and Microsoft Exchange Server uh, are used within their intranet to help them protect their vital business information. And this allows them to simplify information technology, increase business productivity, and provide greater business insight. And employees are networked through the Microsoft 
Microsoft Outlook calendar and email, and the company enables uh, user and group-based security to ensure current contracting bid information is secure from all their competitors. And, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, and the SharePoint assists in helping the employees collaborate while sharing information within applications such as uh, Microsoft Excel and Foundations. Okay, for security, they use Fortinet and Fort Wi-Fi um, for their router and their firewall just so to protect all their um, customer information. And they use group-specific security, and they have um, an employee login, kind of like Walsh has. You have to put in your name and password to be able to get onto their um, systems. Um, the decision, decision to support system, the DSS, um, the foundations provide management with a cooperative DSS and a com compound framework. The data displays trends and forecasting for the company based on inputs from user knowledge and expertise in addition to generating reports and providing an interface to allow the user to drill down into the generalized reports and help management so they can visualize what the progress is going to be and how um, the company is going to perform. Um, they have a centralized system and they use Active Directory and Domain Infrastructure. They provide security and access needed while limiting the use of repetitive hardware, software, and the cost of additional space. So pretty much in conclusion, we said that the MS ITIS um, systems for JW.O is efficient um, because they're contracted out and they save money rather than paying employees to do, do the job, they pay TDS. Um, they make sure new technology is needed and approved before contracting the TDS representative because they don't want to kind of go out and waste their time um, thinking they need something when they really don't and they want to make sure it's cost effective for the company. Um, most of their technology is up to date and accessible to all of the employees from their notebooks, their PCs, and their phones. They um, provide higher produ productivity and accurate information because they have the internet and it's accessible to the employees through all of those sources. And they have this up-to-date system provides them with this secure internet and having all of the um, firewalls protects all of the internet information. Um, these are a list of some of the recommendations and we'll go more into detail about each one of them. Um, but first we recommended that they improve their customer relationship management process um, through the use of recency, frequency, and monetary value method. Um, we also suggested that they could utilize um, Google Docs or some, typical, or some type of cloud software like that so that all of their employees are able to access and make changes to the documents necessary um, without having to email the files or put them on a jump drive or something like that. Um, we also said that we noticed that a lot of the employees aren't trained on typical everyday softwares like Excel. Um, so we recommended further employee training for softwares that they use on a day-to-day -day basis just to make them more efficient, um, making sure that they're using them to the best of their ability. Um, as it currently stands, they have no social media use whatsoever on Facebook, Twitter, or anything like that. Um, so that is an area that we recommend um, getting involved in, as well as the use of review sites where customers can leave recommendations and that kind of thing. Um, like I said, customer relationship management is not really something that they utilize at all. Pretty much when the service is completed, that's the end of the relationship with the customer unless they come back for a future service. Um, <coughs> in an industry like electrical work, where you don't really have a product to differentiate yourself, um, service is really, uh, customer service is really where you need to focus to make yourself stand out from other companies. Um, I recommended that uh, they implement some type of automated updates. Um, they can pre-prepare these templates and then um, based on a database system, once they're changed in the system to say we're at this point in the repair process, an automated update would be sent out through email or text messages um, straight to the customer so that they're aware of what's going on. Um, it also makes them more efficient because the employees that are answering the phones aren't spending their time answering these phone calls all day. Um, they're able to focus on the work that they should be doing instead of, because it's not realistic for a contractor to be sitting on a phone all day and making calls to update their customers. Um, it could be an opt-in only service so that customers who don't feel that this is something that they really need or is necessary for them, uh, they can opt out of this service. Um, and it's really simple, really efficient. 
Okay, um, going off the customer relationship management, um, recency, frequency, and monetary value. Um, well, in class, we talked about how um, you know each of the components of the formula um, for recency. An example would be how recently a customer purchased an item, how frequently uh, they purchase items, and then how much they spent on each purchase. So, um, because JW Dodato is not a business that deals with customers based on their loyalty, but more based on their need, um, we decided that in order to help um, produce better customer relationship management. They can still implement um, these three things. Uh, it can, for instance, they can um, possibly see certain locations by zip code that might need more assistance than others. Um, if this could allow supervisors to send enough employees out on storm, if uh, um, there's a certain location that seems to get hit more often than others, um, they can. This would also help so that the job is performed um, more timely and accurately. Uh, we also said they can look at some of the services they provide more than others. Um, that way they have the necessary equipment uh, ready for customers in need before the service is rendered. Um, this could help um, getting their supply chain up and uh, making it easier for suppliers, manufacturers, distributors to know what they want and then have what the customer wants. Um, as Courtney touched on, Google Docs, uh, JW Dodato helps millions of people in much different areas. Um, so this is just a way we figured for them to kind of start tapping into more of a database central system. It's a freeware tool and it's absolutely uh, free to use. All the, the employees would need would be a Gmail account. Um, it helps to create documents, spreadsheets, presentations, forms, drawings, um, and it holds, it houses them all in um, that one system. And all they would need was, is access to the internet. Uh, it's an online alternative to Microsoft Office package and it promotes online sharing of files while working uh, with others in real time. So it would help for them to keep the information flowing uh, because some of the problems that we saw that they ran into or that they were man manually track um, the linemen and bucket trucks that they sent out on Storm and some people back at the um, uh, office that were nowhere near it had no idea um, what they were using, uh, generators, uh, employees that work on time that was being spent. So. It would be a way for them to keep necessary files and information shared throughout the company. Everyone will know what's going on. Uh, they're provi provided with uh, 1,024 megabytes of free space, and it definitely um, it keeps that free space because uh, they wouldn't have to be sending documents uh, as attachments through email. So they could download to the computer's hard disk. Um, and like I said, it's absolutely free, so we think it'd be a good way for them to at least start uh, exploring some type of more centralized database. And then also, uh, the employee training. Uh, another problem we found is that a lot of the foremen and supervisors are unskilled in areas such as Microsoft, Excel, um, and a few random other uh, just basic applications. So we decided that maybe a training seminar hosted by a professional in that respective area would help. Um, because unskilled work workers are taking care of a lot of vital information uh, to the organization, and then this um, could translate over into their success and what their success could be if they knew more knowledge about it. Um, we said they should be required to attend at least one of the sessions, uh, and if it was hard for them to get a professional who could um, you know, be there for them to ask questions while they take this class, uh, they could also just maybe invest in an in-house Microsoft Office Excel training course um, they would have to, employees currently hired would have to uh, take the course and then new employees would take the course for their uh, respect, respective position that they were looking to be hired for. Um, and along with all this training, like part of the background while looking for employees, they should just have a basic understanding of normal computer skills, ac such as accessing the internet, sending emails, downloading files, just so that uh, it could save JW Dodato time, money, and increase efficiency and productivity. Um, the online client accounts was something that we thought they could develop. Um, right now, when you go on the website, it's pretty much information-based. Um, there isn't really a way for customers to view their service history um, or anything like that. It would definitely be a CRM tool. Um, not only could they see the history that other services that they previously purchased or had JW Dedado involved in, um, they could also, this would be another way for them to check the status of their current jobs, again, increasing the efficiency of the call centers and the main offices. 
Um, it's also a non-intrusive way to communicate. I don't know how many people there are out there like me who don't want a million emails from different companies um, just spam to me. Uh, so this would be a way that they could go in, they log into their account, and only the people that are looking for that information or want to see that information are logging into that account, basically volunteering um, for that information. Again, with the recency frequency um, and monetary value, it's another way for JW to data to discuss with their clients follow-ups, uh, recommend future services or maintenance or other types of service reminders. Social media is another huge tool that they do not utilize. Um, social media is good not just for the building of that relationship with your customer, but it also increases your appearance in search results. So when you go online and search for electrical contractors in Northeast Ohio, there's more of a likelihood that you'll appear if you're using keywords like this in social media, if you appear on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all those uh, different locations. It also would increase their market size. You go from your limited client database that you currently have and their friends and family to a huge market because I have a million more friends <coughs> on Facebook than I do um, people that I communicate on a daily, day-to-day -day basis. Um, it also increases their competitive advantage, like I said, they're appearing more often in Google searches and that kind of thing, um, but you're also building that consumer loyalty. It's a way for customers to directly communicate with you. They almost get a behind-the-scenes look and they feel like they're a part of the company. Um, social media, you could also offer exclusive specials and that kind of thing to encourage your customers to like you on Facebook or to follow you on Twitter. Um, so that it also not only provides a benefit um, to JW Dato in increasing their market size, but it's also a benefit for the customers to follow your social media accounts. Um, Facebook uh, currently is a hangout where a lot of people spend the majority of their time online. Um, it's a way for JW Dato to post pictures, they can leave updates, and obviously they can also put um, different staff pages. I know I currently work at a car dealership Every single one of our sales consultants have their own personal staff page. So if you've worked with a specific contractor or a specific foreman or something like that before in the past, you can connect with them. Again, it just humanizes the company and makes them feel more comfortable um, spending their money with a company like JW Data. Um, it also increases your sales through networking. Like I said, people can leave recommendations on Facebook. Um, they can tag JW Data and post, and that would appear to all of their friends online. Um, and Insights is another tool that's very specific to Facebook that can help them understand different demographic information, um, where to market and who to market to. And I've pulled up, um, this is an example, since obviously JW Dodato doesn't currently have a Facebook page, this is an example of the company that I currently work for and uh, I just wanted to show the different insights and types of things that uh, the company can see through the benefit of having a Facebook page. If it will load. So as you can see, you can see gender and age, so you can see where your market's coming from, who are the people that are liking you on Facebook. Um, you can also see Um, once you establish a bigger fan base, you can also see the various cities that they're coming from. Um, this is a general uh, kind of new Facebook page for our, our company, so we don't have a lot of fans, but this list would populate uh, with the different areas, um, you know, whether Kent, Medina, Cleveland, whichever area that your customers are coming from that are liking your page. Um, you can also see the reach of your uh, different postings and that kind of thing to see where your message is going currently and also um, how to market more efficiently in those specific areas. Um, you can also see who's checking into your location through like Facebook check-ins. Um, so that was just an example. I just wanted to show the different types of insights that you can access um, through Facebook insights. Um, Twitter is another, I'm sure most people in this room are familiar with what Twitter is. Uh, it's real-time updates. Um, it's also, I think, a little more interactive as far as communicating with the company. Um, they're sending a response back almost immediately, and if there's somebody who's there to manage that account, um, they can communicate back and forth in real time. Um, if you're posting engaging information, it's going to encourage people to follow you, and again, you can almost get 
behind the scenes, um, like posting different pictures. As we talked about, they've done a lot of uh, emergency services through the various hurricanes and natural disasters that have occurred. They can post pictures from where they're working and stuff like that to see, or for their customers to see, you know, what types of community outreach and that kind of thing that they have as well. Um, YouTube, we currently utilize that at the company I work for now. All of our sales consultants do introduction videos. Um, that I thought was something that they could also utilize by introducing the different contractors and um, development and that kind of thing so that, again, organizing them. You can also do a company history just to inform the customer more, more about the company um, or even film tips and how-to videos. Um, basic electrical repair work, not to lose business, but to encourage people to feel like they're not trying to scam you, they're not trying to you know, charge you for an exorbitant amount of money for a service that they can do themselves. Review sites are another, not necessarily social media, but another online resource. Um, I don't know how many times I've gone online personally to check a review of a company or a different product before I purchase it, um, but Yelp, Google Places, Bing Business Portal are just examples of the types of um, services that are available. Um, by creating a profile, you can track all the different customer testimonials and recommendations that have been posted online, and you can also respond if there's negative ones to help um, improve, and it's a huge decision-making um, process for customers. First of all, I, you guys did an excellent job. Um, obviously, you put a lot of work into this. I, I'm curious. There's a couple, uh, couple questions, and maybe this will spark some other questions from other people. But um, Carol, you mentioned the foundations program 
and then a cooperative decision support system, and then a compound framework. What, what was that? What was that? <laughs> yeah, it was like the third slide or something. I just didn't know what, I, I mean, I get what a decision support system is. I didn't know what a cooperative decision support system is. That was the last one. It's okay if you don't know. I, just, whenever I read that, just something in my mind said, oh, I better ask that. that, that what, what's the foundation for it? Is that something oh, that it's, they use it for accounting. Their accounting department uses it. It's just like any of the other. It's kind of like sort of like an Excel thing, but it's for accounting. Okay. Yeah. So within it's, the auto, the accounting group uses the foundations correct. program. Okay. Yeah. It's an application. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then uh, I asked the first group this. So I'm going to ask you guys. I, I really like how you guys did the RFM model. I think that's. That's exactly right. Um, but did you guys have any, were you able to look at any specific providers for CRM systems? I mean, because that's a manual process, and that's okay if that's what you want to argue that they can do. But you, did, you got, did you guys have a chance to look at some software that, that can do that for you? Yeah. You might want to add that to your data. Yeah. Um, it seems like they pay a lot of money to Microsoft. And it seems like, because they have SharePoint, Pretty, that's pretty impressive for a small company, um, and then they and then they they, they probably pay a good sum to TDS. Yeah. How long have they been with them? I think close to ten years, okay. a little under. Yeah, so they like them. Mm -hmm. They don't have anybody else to go to. Um, I like, I really like the idea of online client accounts. I think that's, I think that would be a good sell. Um, I really like the insights. I think that could be really helpful for them, especially. I'm curious, and you guys haven't implemented this yet, I know, and it's just a recommendation, but um, for the company that you work for, Courtney, have you guys done an analysis or a, a review to see if the social media marketing type stuff actually resulted in increased foot traffic or anything like that yet? I think it's kind of hard to judge that type mm -hmm. of thing because the majority of the people that leave inquiries and that kind of thing on our social media, we refer them to our customer service phone number or we refer them to the website to look at a specific model or something like that. So I think it's kind of hard to track whether sure, that yeah. resulted in you know a sale or something like that. Right. Um, but I definitely feel that it has helped us grow our business. Um, especially since we've implemented the um, individual sales consultant pages because um, it grows their business within a business. And I think that that's why it would be a really good recommendation um, for DW Dato because each individual person is going to have their own specific reach. And I definitely, definitely like the YouTube idea. I'd, I'd go to it every day. I'd <laughs> stuff. And that would make me a loyal customer. 